Today, in our Ask a Scientist segment, we'll be hearing from Dr. Zhiming Yuan answering questions about his research on ducklings. Your research was really fascinating. What piqued your interest in studying the swimming patterns of ducklings? Hello, Nikita. This is Dr. Yuan. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Strathclyde at the UK. The motivation is a question from my daughter. I have a daughter at the same age as you. When we saw ducklings in a group following the mother in a single fire, and she asked me, why? Well, I didn't know the answer at that time. Even though I am a lecturer in fluid mechanics, but I didn't know the answer. And then I decided to find the answer behind this phenomenon. This phenomenon of reducing wave drag by swimming in a line occurs for an air-water medium. Does anything similar happen for animals swimming underwater too? Well, fish is something that's swimming under the water. It's not on the interface between the water and the air. So when the fish is swimming, well, it generates the vortex. And if there are some other fish swimming in this vortex, they may be able to use this kind of vortex energy to assist their movement. But for the darklings, when they are swimming on the surface, well, it generates a wave behind. And the darklings obviously is taking advantage of this wave energy as assistant for their propulsion. So yes, there are similar phenomena, but the mechanism is different. How can we apply this physics in the real world to reduce energy consumptions and increase efficiency? So what I can tell is a shipping industry. Obviously, currently what we design is a single vessel, you know, taking the cargo and from one city to the other. But if we are able to, to design something like a chain, well, we could potentially save a lot of fuel because we know from the darkening that when these kind of ships moving in chain, it can save energy. And I call these kind of design as water train or sea train. So these can be potentially used in the future to take more cargoes with minimum fuel consumption. Dr. Yun and his colleagues won an Ig Nobel Prize in Physics this year for their work on duckling swimming in formation. To find out more about Dr. Yuan's research on wave riding, check out the article adapted by Science Journal for Kids titled, Why Do Ducklings Swim in a Line Behind Their Mother? 